or not in Brooklyn, it remains to be seen that this moment in time, the Lakers are the favorite as they should be. Um, I'm not scared about the Nets for this year for LeBron. Next year, maybe. I mean, I think they're going to have to get to be a much, much better defensive team to take out the Lakers. I'll say this. The Le LeBron James's Lakers, LeBron and AD's Lakers, are the only team in the NBA that are all three of these things. Absolutely elite offensively, absolutely elite defensively, and can be trusted on in the big moments, can be trusted in the big moments. They have all three of those things, and they're the only team like that they're going to repeat as champions. Okay, last one here, guys. This is from Anastasia uh, Morrison, a member of the Rams softball team. Anastasia? My question for you, Stephen A. Smith, is do you think Steph Curry will be able to take the Warriors back to the NBA Finals? Yes. Perfect. Yes. I got it. I got it. Yes, and more yes. The greatest shooter ever seen in the human race. The greatest shooter in all of mankind, Steph Curry. Once he gets Klay Thompson back, a top five shooter ever in the game as far as I'm concerned. Yes, the Golden State Warriors, before all is said and done, will not only get back to the NBA Finals eventually, they will win another championship, probably a couple of more. If LeBron's got four going for five, Jordan's got six, Kobe Bryant, God rest his soul, had five, I think Steph Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green and the crew are going for five championships. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I definitely expect them to win at least one, probably two, eventually. I think it's possible that they win another championship. In fact, I bet money on it. They're good. They're not done winning. They're going to win one more championship. They have a great front office. Steph Curry is an all-time great. Klay Thompson, as you mentioned, Stephen A., is one of the greatest shooters in history. And when he's healthy, a great two-way player. Draymond Green has revolutionized the game along with Steph as much as anyone other than Steph. Huh? I think they got one more in him. I'll just remind everyone. They were lucky to win one before KD got there. What they were one? lucky to get by LeBron one time because Kyrie and Kevin Love and got hurt. Mm. And they still went six games. That was, and, they were lucky. And I remind Stephen you of A., this, Mac. They're good. They got one more in him. Not more. I remind you of this. James Wiseman is only a rookie. This brother playing in the middle alongside Draymond Green, he is no Andrew Bogut or Jaja Pajulia. James Wiseman is a different shoot. animal. And when he is there, shoot 40% from three-point range, by the way. When he's, he's there like with Draymond that. and no the crew. No one told me he can and shoot you the got three. Steph, And you got Steph and Clay. Yes, they can win. Yes. All right. I want to stay Ooh, with this subject Weisman hitting shots of the NBA fellows, but I just quickly want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, James Dunn, Antoine Lewis for making this happen today, our HBCU yes. tour. Stephen A., I understand why you love your university so much. I mean, the elements, the messages they sent, it's so heartfelt. And I know you're, you're giving back just as much, but the students and the step team and the marching band, it, it really made today's show special. So thank you, Winston-Salem State. And I want to close out the show with the topic I asked you guys off the top, and that's the Brooklyn Nets and what they did last night, right? Mm -hmm. Harden, KD, both put up 20-plus. Kyrie putting on a show, he put up 39. Stephen, I'll ask you this. This version of the Brooklyn Nets, who we saw last night, can they win the chip this year even with their lack of defense? Yes, they can. If you're using last night as the litmus test, the kind of offensive show that Harden, Durant, and Kyrie put on, if they played like that, and I'm not saying they would against the Lakers because that's my question mark. But if they played like that, nobody can beat them. Nobody can beat them if they can play offense like that because I think their defense just going to get better with familiarity. Not much better, but I think it'll get a little better in the second half. They play some good defense. And I saw Kawhi Max trying to push Harden down. We forget how strong James Harden is. Couldn't push him and back him down <laughs> yeah. in the fourth quarter the way Kawhi back. tried to. And Kawhi was, 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 uh, is obviously a, a pretty strong guy. I just think that Kyrie is an absolute showstopper. He's box office. Kevin Durant, to me, let me tell you something, he's just he, he's a superstar. He's, he's a top two player on the planet. I think number one, when, when he gets completely healthy and he's playing more defense, I think he's number one. And, and James Harden, the unselfishness. 
He's reminding us he was a point guard in OKC. He will distribute the basketball. He's not selfish. He will give you the ball. Those things taken into consideration, I got to tell you something. I think I, I don't think anybody can stop the Nets offensively. I really, really don't. Nets cannot beat the Lakers in a best of seven as currently constructed, as presently constituted. And uh, last night's game included, Stephen A., even if we're only looking at that game. Now, if you want to say, could the Nets win a tournament? Yeah, if it was one and done, Nets could beat anyone on any given night. Uh, you can say that about a lot of NBA teams, but especially the Nets, because they're already, the, they're going to be the best offensive team of all time. They're going, and, and, and since the Harden trade, that's statistically what they already are. They haven't even figured it out yet. And Kevin Durant, what's impressed me the most, coming off an Achilles, is he chose Brooklyn. Okay, I'm not going to join a 73-win super team. I hear the criticism. I'm going to forge my own path. He chose Brooklyn and was going to build the team around him. And just like that, they're a powerhouse. And off an Achilles, this man is not only playing great, amazingly efficient offensive basketball, all-time great, but he is choosing to guard the best perimeter player on the other team every single night. So my hat's off to him. And Kyrie, you mentioned, I say Kyrie's the best show in the NBA. And I totally agree. And you know I've said this for a long time. My beef with Harden is he doesn't hit clutch shots in the playoffs. It, he is an unselfish player. He's always done what his team has needed him to do. If it's take a million shots, he'll do that. If it's do what he's doing now, he'll do that. Be more of a, a, a playmaker and help his teammates, he'll do that. So they're, they're outstanding offensively. They will not be able to beat the Lakers in a best of seven with this defensive unit. They just won't be able to do it. Um, I, I don't see a way. They'll, they can score. They'll be the see greatest scoring team of all time. They can't stop a nosebleed, and the Lakers can score. Let me tell you something. The Lakers can score. The Lakers should be the favorites. We both have them as the favorites. Let's not get, let's not get it confused. But what the Brooklyn Nets will force you to do is make shots. Because the Lakers can clamp down on everybody else. Max, can you really see them clamping down on Brooklyn? No, you're going to have to outscore them, which means you're going to have to make Brooklyn sure you, you're going to have to make sure you make shots. See, that's the difference here. And I think that they can make things tight. That's why I don't think anybody in the East is going to be able to beat them. I think Contavious Caldwell Pope and others, and obviously Schrader and others, they're going to be called upon to step up and make shots against Brooklyn because Brooklyn is going to make their share shots. And in terms of Kevin Durant, this has an opportunity, as you pointed out in fitness to you, Max, to be the greatest year of Kevin Durant's career because – with Steve Nash he being a coach, no with doubt. Steve Nash being a coach, he's a rookie coach. He's never coached on any level. Mike D'Antoni, we know that he don't care about defense. If you sit up there and you understand that that's the climate you created, you hone in Kyrie Irving. James Harden is playing alongside you. Kyrie Irving is being selfless. James Harden, obviously, is being that point guard and incredibly selfless. It all comes under the umbrella of Kevin Durant's leadership. Everything is on him. And if this team ends up winning the chip, he will deserve about as much credit as LeBron has earned when he got it Cleveland to the championship. You know, That's and right. the Lakers, obviously, That's to right. a lesser Kevin degree. Durant That's has what a Kevin Durant is doing here. He's got a chance. He has a chance to prove his greatness in a way he's never done before and to elevate himself so that when people talk about the greatest of all time and LeBron's always mentioned nowadays ahead of Kobe and Magic and Bird, KD is mentioned along with those guys by everybody. He has a chance to do that. I'll caution one thing. I mentioned it earlier in the show. That was a Clippers team who had played five games in seven nights. It is true. That, that the, they have so many guys who can score on the Nets at such an elite level, never mind Joe Harris, that when you have, it doesn't get any better defensively on the wings than Kawhi and Paul George. And when those guys are paying attention to KD and James Harden, who's on Kyrie? So they can score with anyone, but they just barely beat a Clippers team. They were lucky Paul George missed an open three at the end of the game, or they maybe don't win that game. They barely beat a team on a long road trip playing their fifth game in uh, seven nights. Molly? Yeah. May I do a favor? Can I, can, I, can I use this opportunity to just make a quick announcement because we're doing stuff on HBCUs? Would you yeah, mind at all? do whatever you um, want. Listen, I'm the HBCU Week uh, brand, brand ambassador, but the real 